Welcome to Lesson 6 in Unit 2, Sun and Shade. In this lesson, students will answer the question, how do we keep track of the weather? Students will figure out that data of weather patterns can be collected and used to track the weather. In the Engage portion of the lesson, start by asking students to describe different types of weather. Use the book Weather to do a picture walk, showing students the different weather symbols. Discuss ways that weather symbols can be used to keep track of the weather. Keeping track during daily calendar activities may be an easy way to collect data on weather. In the Explore portion of the lesson, show students weather data collected over time through daily calendar activities or by using a weather app. Ask them to describe any patterns noticed in the weather. In the Explain portion of the lesson, show students a calendar of St. Louis weather history from Weather Underground. Be sure the season displayed is different than the current season. Use this data and the weather data the class has collected during calendar to discuss with students the season each month falls within and then compare similarities and differences in weather for each season. Are there patterns in the weather that students can observe? Next, read aloud the book Weather. Ask the students if weather changes day to day and season to season. As they discuss and answer, encourage them to use data from the calendars to support their thinking. In the elaborate portion of the lesson, students will make graphs in their student journals using the weather symbols previously discussed. Help students understand that graphs can help track data, observe patterns, and make predictions. Ask them what a graph of weather data might look like and guide them to think about how many sunny, rainy, cloudy, or snowy days could be observed over a period of time. Using the data and graph on this student journal page, they will create a bar graph of one week of rainfall. There is a blank graph space as well to create a second weather data graph of their choice. In the evaluate portion of the lesson, students will use this student journal page to read the data in the graph and describe how many days of each type of weather occurred during the month. By the end of this lesson, students will observe weather patterns over time and present weather data using graphs and charts.